So I, again, I'm delighted to be here uh, to just moderate the second panel focusing on open policy analysis. What we're gonna be talking about is related to this first panel, but a little different, uh, just in the sense that, um, you know, we're gonna be talking directly about policymaking within public organizations, how they bring data in from the research community, and work on it internally themselves and then implement it in policy sort of directly. So uh, it's kind of the next step in the chain from the science all the way to impact uh, in people's lives. And, um, you know, policy analysis takes place all throughout the government. Uh, we're gonna be hearing about policy analysis uh, in the Ministry of Finance in Chile. We're gonna be hearing about it uh, in the US government. Uh, and, you know, there are many large organizations in the U.S. government from the Office of Management and Budget, the Congressional Budget Office, that are doing a very large amount of policy analysis. So this is very, uh, very relevant. Uh, open, the idea of open policy analysis is new. It's something that, you know, BITS has been promoting. There are voices in certain agencies interested in it, but it's just sort of coming together now. So I think we're going to hear about some new efforts in Chile along these lines and also hear reflections on how these ideas could or maybe could not be usefully implemented in the US government. So let me just start with some introductions and then I'll turn it over to the panel for their comments. Um, our first participant who will be joining remotely on Zoom is Claudia Sanhuesa, who's the Under Secretary of Finance uh, in Chile. Before her appointment as the Under Secretary of Finance, Claudia was a professor of economics at the Universidad Mayor where she's the director of the Center for Economics and Social Policy. She has published in multiple fields in economics, including labor, economics of education, uh, welfare economics. And she's also participated at, in very high level presidential advisory commissions in Chile. Most relevant for us uh, today is her leading role in promoting uh, transparency and reproducibility in key policy analyses that are being conducted by the Chilean government. Uh, right now in the context of a very large scale pension reform. So Chile has a very kind of well-known, uh, had a very well-known pension reform in the 1980s. Uh, and again, about 40 years later, they're working on a major reform. It's currently being debated. We're gonna hear about that today. So Claudia is our first speaker. Uh, our second panelist is David Bravo, who's an economist, the founder and the director of the Center for Longitudinal Studies at the Universidad Católica de Chile. Since 2014, he was also the founder uh, and director of the Micro Data Center at Universidad de Chile. Uh, David has pioneered the creation and implementation of longitudinal surveys in Chile linked to administrative records, uh, including in this area of pensions and social security. So a very uh, important uh, later leader in data and analysis uh, there. He's also served in, in several high level presidential and government commissions. He chaired the 2014 Presidential Advisory Commission on the Chilean pension system. So he's very knowledgeable in this area. He's also published numerous studies, publications, uh, surveys. Uh, and he has been in the lead of a group of academics encouraging the government to increase the reproducibility and transparency of their policy analyses. So again, very exciting to hear about uh, the work there. Uh, the third panelist is my colleague, uh, Danny Yagan here in Berkeley, Department of Economics. Uh, Danny is an expert in public economics. Uh, his work on taxes and business investment have been very uh, influential. He's worked on uh, the recovery from the Great Recession. He's done pioneering work on income inequality. He's really published across a number of areas in leading um, uh, economics research journals. Uh, he was also the chief economic advisor to Pete Buttigieg's presidential campaign, and he recently served uh, in a high-level position in the U.S. government as chief economist of the White House Office of Management and Budget uh, in the Biden administration, where he was involved in, in a number of initiatives, including advancing data sharing. So uh, we really have a very knowledgeable uh, and, and interesting panel here. We're going to start with David, who's going to present his uh, slides in the context of this pension reform effort in Chile and the new push towards transparency. Then we'll turn turn to Claudia again, who's going to join on Zoom to discuss the, the broader efforts by the Chilean government in this area. Uh, and then finally, finally, Danny will discuss some parallels and differences with policy analysis in the U.S. government and ways forward 
for transparency and reproducibility here uh, as well. So let me turn it over to David, welcome. 